Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to switch time zones in Power Query. So let's say, for example, you occasionally get a table and you've got date and time here. And you already know it's a certain time zone. In this case, I have GMT. And I'm sending it to people and I want to express maybe the time zones of different localities, maybe Eastern time zone or Pacific time zone. Now you can convert that in Power Query and I'll show you how to do that. First off, I will take this table. It's already a table actually, this range of data. I go into design. You can see it's already been converted into a table. Um, if you didn't have this as a table, you'd always have to convert your range of data into table first. That you would go into insert, table, or control T, and it will turn it into a table and ask you if you want to give it a name. I do have a name for it already. The table name is GMT. I'm just going to bring that into Power Query right now. So I'll go under data, get and transform data from table and range. So I'll pull that into Power Query. And as it's being pulled into Power Query, let me minimize this a little bit. It's too big. Make this a little smaller so it can fit into the window here. What I need to do is I want to turn this into a recognizable uh, date time zone. I, I want to add time zone to it because right now it's just got uh, date and time. We need to have the time zone. So if I selected that, it's going to ask me um, what I want to do. If I replace the current, it's going to put that time zone as the current time zone that I'm in. Right now I'm in Pacific time zone. You can see that it's dash dash zero seven. We have our uh, information here. You can see that there's a dash eight here because the anything in June is daylight savings time. And after November, daylight savings time is over. You can see it's offset by eight hours instead of seven. For this particular example, I'm not going to change the system A date. I'm going to add a column that will reference this date and time and put it as a UTC or GMT time. So I'll go to add column custom column and I will call this one UTC and use the M code function called date time add zone open parentheses the column that I'm going to reference is system A time and we'll offset that by zero because zero is the GMT UTC time click OK and now we have that time. And you can see it's still the same time, 3, 6, 7, 2019, 342, 342, but it's added the time zone, which is for GMT, zero. Now, what we can do now is if we wanted to add maybe Eastern time zone or Pacific time zone, I can do that. So if I wanted to add Eastern time zone, I would have to create an offset, right? So what I can do is I would create a parameter Let's create a parameter for Eastern. I'll go to new parameter. I'll call this Eastern time, Eastern. And the current value is minus five. I think it's minus five, I believe. Let's go to check out, if we go to New York, what is the offset from GMT? GMT offset is minus five. And if we do West Coast, let's see what that, that one is. Uh, this one is West Coast. We can see this is West Coast here. And that's minus eight. So we have those references. If we had Eastern, that's minus five. Now let's create another parameter. And we'll call this one Western. And that one's minus eight. Click OK. All right. Now we go back into my GMT query. And I'm going to create another column. In this column, I will go add column, custom column, and we'll call this one Eastern. And we'll say date, time, zone. Switch, switch zone, open parentheses, UTC, and we're going to call, we're going to switch it to Eastern. Click 
click OK. It's calling that parameter. Now it's switched those time zones to Eastern. You can see it's minus 5 here. If we want to add the Western one, we can do another custom column. We'll call this one Western. And date, time, zone, switch, zone, open parentheses, click on UTC, and then we'll reference the Western parameter that we created earlier. Click OK. And now we have Western, which is minus 8. But what if we didn't want to hard code these and we want to kind of create something dynamic? Well, we can create a dynamic parameter and pass it into Power Query. I'm going to close this one first. Let's close and load. And I'll load it onto the worksheet here in cell E, E1. And I'm going to create a dynamic query or a dynamic parameter. Go to table, existing worksheet. Let's just see how it looks here. Click OK. And let's see how it looks here on our sheet. We have all these weird numbers because I forgot to change the data type. These are actually values for the dates, but Excel sees them as decimal integers, integers and decimal numbers. Let's change that double click GMT query and let's go back to change those data types into date, time, and zone. So we all have here, these are all strings right now. So I'll select this, press the shift key so I can multi select right click, change my type, and we're going to change it to date, time, zone. And you can see the icons change here. There's going to be a little globe icon on time. Click close and load. And now these should all change to different date and times, right? So as I mentioned before, let's say we wanted not to have it hard coded where we had the time zone offsets here. And maybe we wanted to have something a little more dynamic. So let's call this off. Let's call this change zone or change time zone time zone and we would have to know how much we want to offset it by so if we wanted to offset it by maybe mm, let's pick something different Tokyo we'll click Tokyo and Tokyo is offset by plus nine so I can just go back and add nine here and we see what time we would have for nine Go it back into data, go back into queries, let's adjust our query, and we're going to reference, oops, one thing we need to do is we need to bring this in as a connection only query, just like these parameters are connection only. Create a table here, control T, my table does have headers, the first row there is a header, and we'll change this to, I'll just call this dynamic, dyna, dynamic time zone, dynamic TZ. Or just maybe it's just shorter, so I don't have to type so much. Dynamic TZ, D Y N T Z. I just have to remember that. Press enter. Now I will bring this into Power Query as a connection only. Go to data from table and range. And as it comes up, it's going to bring back that table as a two row uh, table. I just want to drill down to that value there. So select that cell, right click, go to drill down and it's just going to have that parameter there. That's fine. Go to home, close and load, and we're going to load this as a connection only query. Make sure it's only connection only. And it's going to show up here is DYNTZ. Now I can bring that in to my GMT query just like I did with these other two. Double click GMT. And I'll add a different column now that will reference that UTC column. So go to UTC, click Add Column. Actually, I didn't need to click that, but I'll just add a custom column. And in here, we're going to do the same M code functions that we did with Eastern and Western. I'll call this Dynamic Time Zone Space. And go Add, whoops, Date, Time Zone, Switch Zone, open parentheses, UTC. And then my query was DYNTZ, I think. Let's see if I can look at that. Oh, I couldn't. I hope I remember that DYNTZ, close parentheses, click OK. And let's see if we got our Tokyo time. Ah, oh, plus nine. We did get our Tokyo time. So I can click close and load. It's going to load it new here. Oh, I hope I changed the data type there. No, I didn't. Double click GMT to bring it back. Let's change my data type from the string to a date time 
and zone. So we can see here, select that, go to date, time, and time zone. Now close and load. This should turn into a date, time, and time zone friendly view here. So right, so now Tokyo time, UTC time, 12, uh, let's see, the first one here is 3.42. In Tokyo time, it's going to be 12.42. And here, 12.16. 1328, we have our Tokyo time is 2228. If I change the time zone here, maybe I want to make my dynamic time zone look the same as Eastern time zone. I will make that offset as minus, I think it was minus five, press enter. And let's see if Eastern here is the same as the dyna dynamic time zone there. Go to refresh all. And now it is the same. So those values are the same. Now, but you may think about looking at that and thinking, well, Tokyo, there is no daylight savings time, but in the Americas, go back, in the Americas, there is, if I go to, let's go to West Coast. If I go to West Coast, daylight savings time has started, uh, it starts on March 10th. So uh, right now it's fine with the minus eight, but it's going to change when it starts. And if we're sending these files to people, we, wanted that, we want that to reflect. So how can we reflect that? Let's go back into our query and we have to change some things. So we can go back into data queries, double click on GMT. So here we have our columns come up. Let's say I didn't want to mess with Eastern, Western dynamic time, let's just delete everything here, here except when I converted it to UTC. Let's see, this one was the UTC one, that's fine. Let's delete everything from this all the way down. Delete until end. So we get rid of all those steps and I just want local time, right? If I just want a local time, I can click on that and since it's already set up for UTC, I'll go to add column, go to time, and select local time. It's going to pick up the local time from my individual PC and reflect that. So you'll notice, let's go home, close and load. Now you notice that all the other rows, since it happens in daylight savings time, you can see the times adjust correctly. Oops, I forgot to do that. Change UTC again. Double click GMT. Let's change that to date time, time zone and we'll go back into the Excel worksheet after we do that. Change that into date, time, time zone. And you can see here, it, actually we don't need to go back to the cell. You can see here that everything here is UTC time zone and everything here is uh, daylight saving time is in effect. But when we get to December, which is uh, a month after, about a month after when daylight savings times ends, you'll see that it offsets to minus eight instead of minus seven. That's because daylight savings time has been picked up from this local time um, designation that we did. So if you want to reflect that in your particular setting, you have to do that. Um, instead of hard coding it with the parameters or passing the time zone here, uh, that, that can do it. I mean, if the people that you send it to, if you're using this file and you're sending it to people, if they know that they have to reflect that, uh, if they're in Pacific time zone and they're reflecting the time zone changes, have to move from minus seven to minus eight, they know about that, then you can have them do that here. But if you wanted to make it easy and we're sharing this file with people, probably having local time zone automatically done is something helpful for them. So, for example, let's say that I changed, this was not in December, maybe this was still in June, and if I just click uh, data refresh all, you're going to see this change back to the daylight savings time in effect. So click refresh all. Now you see that that changed, that it turned from 528 to 628. So that will reflect there. If I go back into the query here, double click to go into the query, you're going to see that they all are minus seven instead of that last one being minus eight. So that has all been reflected on local time. So that's the way that we switch time zones using Power Query. I so you, showed you a couple examples. One using the parameter where you would may manually hard code the time zones in for, for different columns. 
the other one using a dynamic parameter where you pass it into Power Query to change that and maybe give your users the option to change it. If you wanted to kind of make it really kind of um, behind the scenes, you didn't want um, to mess with it too much, you can have a column where you're looking at the local time zone. So when you pass this particular file to people, you can just ask them to refresh it. It'll pick up the local time from their PC and reflect that. So there's the way that you can switch time zones using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.